Welcome to our channel. Have you ever heard of orthostatic hypotension? If not, don't worry. In this video, we'll be sharing a comprehensive guide on what it is, how it affects the body, and most importantly, how you can manage it effectively. Don't let orthostatic hypotension knock you down. Join us as we explore the basics and equip you with the knowledge to take control of your health. What is orthostatic hypotension? Orthostatic hypotension is a drop in blood pressure that can happen to some people when they stand up. This drop in blood pressure can make you feel dizzy or lightheaded. It can even make you pass out. Another term for orthostatic hypotension is postural hypotension. What are the symptoms of orthostatic hypotension? The symptoms all happen when you stand up after sitting or lying down, and they can include lightheadedness or dizziness, blurred or dimmed vision, weakness, and fainting, also known as synco. What can cause orthostatic hypotension? There are many causes of orthostatic hypotension. It can happen if there is not enough fluid in your arteries. This can happen if you lose a lot of blood or if you are dehydrated. You can get dehydrated if you do not drink enough fluids, if you have severe diarrhea or vomiting, or if you sweat a lot, for example, during exercise. Orthostatic hypotension can also happen if your heart doesn't pump out enough blood, if the nerves and hormones in your body that control the blood vessels are not working properly, or if you take certain medicines. In some people, orthostatic hypotension is tied to another condition, such as diabetes, nerve damage, or Parkinson's disease. But people who are otherwise healthy can have orthostatic hypotension too. Older people are more likely than younger people to have it. Is there a test for orthostatic hypotension? Yes. There are a few tests that can help your doctor or nurse find out if orthostatic hypotension is causing your symptoms. The simplest test is to take your blood pressure and pulse while you are sitting or lying down and then again after you stand up. Other tests could include blood tests to see if you have a condition called anemia, which is when the body has too few red blood cells blood tests to check that your blood has the right chemical balance and that your fluid levels are in the right range, and tests to make sure that your heart is pumping correctly. How is orthostatic hypotension treated? The first thing your doctor or nurse will do to treat your orthostatic hypotension is find out if it is caused by any medicines you take. If so, they might switch you to another medicine or lower your dose. Medicines that can cause orthostatic hypotension include those used to treat high blood pressure, chest pain caused by heart disease, called angina, or depression. There are also medicines to treat orthostatic hypotension directly. If necessary, your doctor or nurse can prescribe one of these medicines. In some cases, your doctor or nurse might ask you to track your blood pressure at home. They will show you how you can do this. Is there anything I can do on my own to feel better? Yes. There are a few things that you can do to reduce the problems caused by orthostatic hypotension. They are listed below. But you should try these things only after talking to your doctor or nurse. Stand up slowly and give your body time to adapt. This is especially important when you get out of bed in the morning. Start by sitting up and waiting a moment. Then swing your legs over the side of the bed and wait some more. When you do stand up, make sure you have something to hold on to in case you start to feel dizzy. If you have symptoms after eating, it might help to make some changes to your eating habits. For example, you can try to avoid large meals, eat meals that are low in carbohydrates, and drink a lot of water with and without your food. Stand up slowly when you get up from the table. Limit activities that could make you overheat or sweat a lot. Examples include taking hot showers, running, or hiking. These things can make orthostatic hypotension worse. Make sure that you drink enough fluids, especially in hot weather. Use extra pillows or an adjustable bed to make the head of your bed higher. This will raise your head above your heart slightly. Wear compression stockings. The ones that go to your waist are most helpful, but they can be hard to use. And avoid drinking a lot of alcohol. What problems should I watch for? Orthostatic hypotension can lead to falls and injuries. People with orthostatic hypotension might also be at a higher risk for other health problems, including heart problems. Call your doctor or nurse for advice if you fall and hit your head or injure yourself. 
call for emergency help right away. In the US and Canada, call 911 if you have signs of a heart attack. These might include chest pain, pressure, or discomfort, breathing trouble, sweating, upset stomach, or cold and clammy skin, pain in your arms, back, or jaw, and pain that gets worse with activity like walking upstairs. Thank you for taking the time to learn with us today. Please share this video with your colleagues, subscribe to our channel, and give us a positive evaluation. We hope to see you soon in our next video.